<clears throat> Please welcome your host and one of the world's most funny and successful comedians and a good Canadian boy, Russell Peters! Hey! Calgary! What's happening? All right. All right, finally. All right. I can't believe... I can't believe they have, like, a post-apocalyptic theme up here. This... It's like, we'll let a brown guy host, but the world has to end first. How about that? They... Empty oil drums, that the price of gas has gone that high? That... These are the drums we couldn't fill. <laughs> Welcome to the Juno Awards. It's great to be here. Wow. I'm home. <laughs> the Juno people have been treating me really well. They've actually uh, given me my own driver, Chad Kroger. Um... He's, uh, he's got a heavy foot, dude. He's, uh... <laughs> They're gonna have to change the name from Nickelback to get your license back. I think that's what we're gonna have to change the name from. Couldn't make it as a drunk man. <laughs> Failed scene. <laughs> oh, stop it. I'm very honored to be hosting the awards this year. They got a great... Uh, they have... They got... They got uh, you should see the acts they've got lined up tonight. Now, I've never actually seen the Juno Awards, I'll be honest with you, I guess which makes me Canadian. <laughs> um, speaking of which, Stats Canada just revealed that South Asians, my people, um, are now the largest visible minority group in Canada. <laughs> Did you know that? Look at you, you brown bastards. Look at you right there. I see you. Don't act like I don't see you. And judging by that, I think you're the only two Indians that showed up. So, um, the rest of my people are probably at home watching this on... This is free if we watch it from here. So that's what they're doing. They're watching it at home. Do you know what that means, Calgary? Pretty soon your cowboys are going to be Indians. Um, What an incredible show we got for you tonight, folks. The teleprompter's not working with me, but who cares about all that, huh? That's what I say. Tonight we have some of the biggest musicians in the world that are Canadian. It would have been, that's right. It would have been all of them, but Celine Dion uh, couldn't make it. Uh, Renee, I think, just lost her in a high-stakes poker game. Um, but my homegirl, Avril Lavigne, is here. Look at her. She'll be performing her big hit, Girlfriend, which she recorded in eight languages. Eight! None of them, any of the Indian languages. I think it would have sounded good, you know. Hey, hey, you, you, mom, mom, don't marry me to that girl. I think it's... It's got a ring, we can work on it. We'll do a remix, you know. Feist is here. Or as my people call her, Feast. That girl Feast is doing fantastic. That, uh, you got an iPod commercial, you did Saturday Night Live, you were on the Grammys, and you're here at the Junos. <laughs> well, you had a good run, you know? Um, <laughs> Ann Murray is here, living legend. Huh? I can't. I'll be honest with you, I, I, I can't say anything bad about Anne Murray because I think I might have been conceived to her music. Um, it's possible, you know. Can I have this dance? Maybe later we could take a picture, you know, for my MySpace or something. You and me. Well, I'm glad everyone's here. We've had so many successful Canadian acts. And you know they're successful because they don't live here anymore. <laughs> hey, do you think if I still lived here, I'd be hosting the awards? Hell no. <laughs> Russell, stay in Brampton. It's okay. Um, now let's get to the first award of the night. Her song, Believe, has been chosen as the two official song to the 2010 Winter Olympics. And I'm not even sure how he got here tonight, because last I heard, his truck got stuck. 
please welcome Susie McNeil and a man whose name means something very rude in my language, Corb Lund.